Okay, so we're going to take a look at uh, population proportion and take a look at a couple of examples um, of creating a confidence interval uh, with uh, population proportion in mind. Uh, so a few things that you just need to know before we start this uh, population proportion, we're going to call that P. Um, that's the proportion of uh, the population that, say, has the thing that we're interested in or has done whatever we're interested in. Uh, the sample proportion, this is p hat. Uh, this is the proportion of a sample that we do. So say we sample 500 people and a certain amount of them, uh, let's say 100 of them, um, have been um, to a certain country. Uh, that would give us a sample proportion of 100 over 500, which is uh, 0 0.2, okay? The way you calculate uh, p hat is x over n, okay? Now, what's x and what's n? Well, the number in the sample, that's n, and the number of successes, that's x. Um, the number of successes is just whatever you are interested in. And then the last thing is uh, the margin of error. This is e. And this is equal to, uh, for a 95% confidence interval, it's 1.96 times the square root of P times 1 minus P over N. Okay, now that's for a 95% uh, margin of error. The 1.96 changes if you want 90% uh, or 99% and they'll give you that number in the exam so you don't need to worry about it. It's only the 1.96 that you need to remember. And P here is the population proportion. However, if you don't know the population proportion, you can use P hat. Okay, so just put a note under there. Uh, use P hat or P. Okay, if you know P, you use it. If you don't, you use P hat. Now, this all gives us the formula that we've seen before. Uh, the formula is uh, p hat minus e is less than p, which is less than p hat plus e. And then we can expand that out to let us know what e is. So a 95% uh, confidence interval then would be p hat minus 1.96 times the square root of p times 1 minus p over n less than p less than p hat plus 1.96 times the square root of p times 1 minus p over n. That's going to be your confidence interval and it'll look something like this, let's say um, 0 0.3 uh, three five seven less than p less than zero point five two nine okay it's going to be two numbers in between zero and one because proportions are always between zero zero and one one would be a hundred percent everybody zero would be zero percent nobody okay let's take a look at two examples so um first example uh, in a sample of 500 people 150 have a blue car. Construct a 95% confidence interval for the proportion of people that have a blue car. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is write down uh, the formula for the confidence interval. So 95% confidence interval is p hat minus 1.96 times the square root of p times 1 minus p over n less than p less than p hat plus 1.96 times the square root of p times 1 minus p over n. Now what is everything in this? Well, um, we know that uh, p hat is equal to x over n. Well, in this case, n is 500 and x is 150. So p hat then is 150 over 500. So 150 over 500 is 0 0.3. So p hat is 0 0.3. And 
x is 150, n is 500. Now in this, because we're not given the proportion, the population proportion, we use our sample proportion. So we use p hat 0 0.3 instead of p. So let's put in everything we know. So that'll be 0 0.3 minus 1.96 times the square root of p, which is 0 0.3 times 1 minus p. So that's 0 0.7 over n, which was 500. That's going to be less than p and less than p hat again was 0 0.3 and this time it's plus 1.96 times the square root of p which was 0 0.3 times 1 minus p which was 0 0.7 over n which was 500. Okay so then you can go to the calculator and you can put each side in in one go so that'll be 0 0.3 minus 1.96 times the square root of now we have a fraction 0 0.3 times 0 0.7 over 500 and that gives us let's take four decimal places 0 0.2598 that's going to be less than p and less than on the other side now what all we actually have to do is change this minus here to a plus so you can scroll back through your calculation here, delete the minus and add in a plus, and that gives us uh, four decimal places, 0 0.3402, 0 0.3402. So that is our 95% confidence interval. And what that means is we are 95% sure that proportion of people who have a blue car in the population is between 0 0.2598 and 0 0.3402. So to say that again, 95% sure or confident that the proportion population that have a blue car is between 0 0.29 or 2598 and 0 0.3402 or you could put it as a percentage, 25.98%, 34.02%. Uh, they usually ask you in the exam to write down a conclusion in terms of the context of the question. So that would be the conclusion for the context of this question. Okay, let's have a look at another example then. In a sample of 750 people, 200 have been to Spain. Construct a 95% confidence interval for the proportion of people who have been to Spain. So again, I'm going to start by writing down my confidence interval p hat minus 1.96 times the square root of p times 1 minus p over n is less than p is less than p hat plus 1.96 times the square root of p uh, times 1 minus p over n. In this case, my n is 750, my x is 200, and my p hat is x over n, which is 200 over 750, and then 200 over 750 is 0 0.26, and it's 26 recurring. Okay, so then we go back to our formula here and sub in everything we know. Again, now we don't have p, it's not given to us, so we need to use p hat instead. So p hat is 0 0.26 recurring minus 1.96 times the square root of 
zero point two six recurring, um, and that is times zero point seven three recurring over uh, n was uh, seven fifty for this one. That's less than p, less than p hat zero point two uh, six recurring plus 1.96 times the square root of 0 0.26 recurring times 0 0.73 recurring over 750. Now don't worry about the recurring bit um, if you want to, the, the, probably the easiest way to do that is to say 0 0.26 and then we're going to give the answer correct to say four decimal places. So if you just add in a few more sixes there like that, so let's say we have uh, six sixes, that's way more than enough in terms of our four decimal places that we're going to give our answer to. So 0 0.26 recurring minus 1.96 times the square root of uh, 0 0.26 times uh, 0 0.73 and again with the trees you have uh, six of them there and that's more than enough and then that is uh, over 750 so that gives us 0 0.2350 which is less than p and less than again then just to get um, the plus all you need to do is scroll back through until you get to your minus delete the minus and change it to a plus and that gives you the other side so 0 0.2983 so our sample proportion is 0 0.26 recurring but our confidence interval is 0 0.2350 to 0 0.2983 what does that mean again in the context of the question we are 95% confident that uh, the proportion of the population that has been to Spain is between uh, 0 0.2350 and 0 0.2983. Okay, so that is um, an introduction basically to population proportions. Um, it does go further than that. You can be asked for a different percentage confidence interval you can be asked for 90% and 99% we'll have a look at that in the next video um, and then you can be asked for different things as well you can be asked um, how big was the sample if they give you the proportions so you have to work backwards so we'll do that uh, in the next video okay right so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time